Right now we have a Fox 59 update. A domestic violence program that started in honor of a fallen IMPD officer is making some significant strides. That's right. It honors Officer Brianne Leith, who was shot and killed in the line of duty while responding to a domestic disturbance. It happened in April of 2020. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli actually shows us how this program is already leading to referrals for federal prosecution. She just always kind of had that mindset of like, I'm going to make the world a better place. An initiative named in honor of fallen IMPD officer Brianne Leith is pushing forward her efforts to help those impacted by domestic violence. It's a huge accomplishment because um, Brianne herself was, and actually both of my girls have, all three of them have experienced a little bit of that situation. All three were able to break away from those situations. But it was a domestic violence call Brie responded to that claimed her life. Whenever I hear an officer has been injured, especially shot, um, I'm right back to when I got that phone call. Acting U.S. Attorney John Childress says Project Leith shines additional light on a huge problem. A domestic abuser who has access to a firearm is really five more times, five times more likely to kill his or her uh, victim. Federal law says it's illegal for someone with a misdemeanor domestic violence conviction, someone convicted at the state or federal level, or a person with a final protective order against them to have a gun. We actually are able to look at an individual's criminal history to determine if they would fit the criteria. Since this program started in Marion County, the ATF has referred 52 people they believe fit the criteria for federal prosecution. Since Project LEAF started, we can attribute about 10% of the firearms cases that we've had this year to that effort. Although 52 may not seem like a huge number, agencies involved say it is. Anything we can do to intercede and, uh, and uh, stop that chain of events, we'll jump at, and we have. I hope that the people that this helps um, pay it forward. Reporting in Indianapolis, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News.